Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a really simple main dish that you can have throughout the week because one of the main staples you can make ahead of time. So this is super simple and so filling and yummy. I'm talking about our delicious crunchy roasted garlic and lentil wraps. They're gonna be filled with a delicious lentil uh, dip with sun-dried tomatoes and roasted red peppers, roasted garlic, and then lots of crunchy veggies inside. They're so yummy. We're gonna get started right now. Now one of the most important components of the dip itself is roasted garlic. If you've never roasted garlic before, it's really simple. I have some that I've already roasted. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but in case you've never done it, you can simply cut your head of garlic. We're gonna use a whole head of garlic here. Cut it in half, and we take an oven-proof ramekin. We add a tiny drizzle of oil, and we place our head of garlic with the part we cut uh, facing downward. So we just kind of roll it in the oil a little bit and we cover this in foil and we roast in a 425 degree oven, which is about 118 Celsius. We roast that for about 35 minutes or until those garlic cloves are tender. I'm gonna show you the one I made before. It's so gorgeous and tender and it's caramelized and it's really tender when you pick it with a fork. We set this aside and now we're gonna get our lentils ready. Now I'm using some brown lentils for our dip today. You can use any type you've got in the house. And I always love to soak my lentils overnight. It's not necessary, uh, most people don't do that. I think it kind of quickens the cooking process a bit. It gets them really mushy because we're gonna puree this in a food processor. And it also makes them a little more digestible. So we're gonna just drain those lentils and we're gonna give them a quick rinse. We add them to a pot. Now we've added those to the pot and we're gonna add some basic, basic seasonings, uh, bay leaf and some garlic powder. Now we cover those with some vegetable broth. If you don't have vegetable broth, you can use water too or a combination. I think the broth adds lots of richness and flavor. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this come to a boil. Then we lower the heat to medium cover and we're gonna let those cook for about 20 minutes until they're tender. One thing I love about this recipe is that if you wanna skip the step of cooking lentils or you've got leftover lentils that are already cooked or you wanna use them from a can, you can just rinse and drain them and you're gonna be using one and three quarters of a cup of those pre-cooked lentils. Another thing I love about this recipe is that the whole dip, which is the base of the recipe, you can make ahead of time over the weekend, keep it in the fridge, and you can assemble these wraps as you go along throughout the week. Now that our lentils are tender and cooked through, I'm going to drain them of that liquid and we're gonna add them to a food processor. Next, we add our sun-dried tomatoes. some roasted red peppers, some lime juice, some salt, and of course, our delicious roasted garlic. Now we process this until we have a very creamy puree. And of course, we always taste and adjust any seasonings to our liking. <laughs> what we've got is this creamy dip that you could serve with some raw veggies just as a dip, but what I like to do is serve them inside our crunchy wraps, which is what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. So I always recommend chilling this for about 30 minutes at least. You can make this ahead of time, of course. It's gonna help firm it up, and I think the best way to serve this baby is cold. So we're gonna get started with assembling our wraps. I'm using some tortilla wraps, some wheat tortilla wraps. You can use gluten-free wraps if you wanna make this entirely gluten-free too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toast these a little bit in a pan, that's a must in my opinion, and then add lots of crunchy vegetables, any type you like. We're gonna be using some bell peppers, carrots, cucumber, tomato, and of course, always avocado some lettuce greens, of course our dip, we roll them up and we enjoy. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you make these scrumptious goodies at home and show us your pictures using the hashtag brown ball and I'll see you in our next video.